One of the most important stories uh, that I believe I've told this week and shared with you and our team has shared with you is this EF3 tornado that tore through Jacksboro, Texas, 50 miles outside of Fort Worth. It severely damaged the city's high school, also the elementary school. But this is a look at the school's uh, gym, the high school gym, which took a big hit. The roof peeled off, debris scattered across uh, the now outdoor basketball court. Uh, the principal of the school dismissed students early possibly preventing any serious injuries or worse uh, from happening from this twister. And Principal Starla Sanders is joining us right now with a big smile. I'm sure mm -hmm. a lot of gratitude. Before I get to the school, is it true you lost your home? Yes, ma'am. Where are you staying? Uh, the middle school principal has a, a little mother-in-law house behind her home, and she's allowed us to move in there in the past two days. So it's you and who else? How many people in your family? Uh, my husband and my two boys that are nine and five. Nine and five. So you have two boys who were actually at the elementary school there that took a, hit, a huge hit. Uh, those kids were not dismissed from school. But let's go all the way back to Monday. You're at school doing your job as principal. You decide to send the students home early. Did you just have this gut intuition that things were going to be bad? No, I did not. Um, my superintendent sent out a message to us. Hold, we are going to hold buses and we are going to shelter in place. Uh, I have students that drive for the most part. So um, we were able to, we knew they had about 20 minutes. So I told them, get home, get safe, get to shelter in place in your home. And um, then we kept the bus riders in our uh, safe place. But you stayed at the campus. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah, that's... I got to take care of my kids and my staff that stayed back. <laughs> In hindsight, do you believe that staying behind actually spared your life or, or at least spared you from injury because you would have either gone to the elementary school and been one of those parents outside the school when the storm hit that gym and that building or maybe gone to your house, which was knocked down? Right. No, I'm very thankful I did not go home and I wouldn't have gone home without my boys anyway. Uh, so I feel like I'm blessed that I made the decision to stay with my staff and um, that we got our bus riders relocated where they were safe as well. Your two little boys, they attended the elementary school, and I know mm -hmm. that that school had uh, storm shelters, places where the students could, could squeeze in and, and hold tight where that storm hit. Have your children talked to you about what happened and how scary it was? Oh, yeah. Um, they've had, they have lots of stories. Um, my oldest son was pretty stoic. He, he was with our youngest son that's in kindergarten at the elementary. And, uh, but my, elementary, uh, my kindergarten student did struggle a little bit. He still um, you know, is kind of struggling with the aftermath of that. But yes, my oldest son says there was food flying from the cafeteria in a circular motion. Uh, they, they, their little eyes saw a lot, but you know, they're a hundred percent safe. So mm. it's just amazing. 400 kids inside that school and then whatever parents and staff were inside at the time as well, surviving, nobody dead, nobody hurt. Uh, the community has really rallied around you and, and supporting you at this time. Can you talk about that? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I want to say thank you to the elementary staff as well for what they did uh, on Monday because they, they're heroes. Uh, we know educators are heroes, but this is just uh, you know, a big uh, example of how they showed that on Monday. But our community, I've had multiple text calls, multiple um, ask of, hey, you can live in our camper, you can live in this, we have uh, this, we can bring this. Uh, I've had people bring clothes. Uh, my son's a big Chiefs fan, so we had a friend bring over some Chiefs clothes because they know he loves the Chiefs. So, uh, you know, just an amazing community. Uh, we've lived here for 15 years and I'm just blessed that, um, you know, that they've rallied around all of our families that have uh, damages. And so for you, you're going to be obviously working through the pieces of, of putting your life back together. But is school back in session as normal today or next week? Uh, we plan to get it going uh, next week. We plan to meet. We're going to meet a little bit later with our engineers and talk to them about structural uh, things that are going on, but we do plan to get started uh, by Tuesday of next week. Uh, I already have kids that are traveling, going to um, event, extracurricular events, you know, and so uh, we would like for them 
to get back to some type of normalcy. Well, I'm sure you would like some normalcy too. So I, I think you're going to be one of those ladies that just keeps working through it uh, to find some consistency in that while you, again, stay at the middle school teacher's home, I think is what you said. Uh, Principal mm -hmm. Starla Sanders, thank you. And I'm so glad you and your family are safe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.